so basically a friend of mine, David, who I've worked with a few times on a few projects, who's working with the council and around the local area, he put me forward for it. I haven't really done anything like this before, so this is like a big stepping stone for me. Like I've really appreciated being that opportunity to do something like this. Kid, I got into it illegally and done a lot of illegal stuff and done it the traditional way of painting graffiti. Went through through trials and tribulations with it. Ended up seeing the light at the tunnel for it and thought, let me change my passion and you know put more time and effort into it. And this has been the process of about three or four years. I've been doing it for about ten years in one way, and only in the last three years I've really pushed my limits, explored a lot more. And obviously it's paying off, it's getting to places where people are asking me to paint now. So I've done a few commissions last year and things like that. So just sort of enjoying the process of growing. I'm just growing as a person, as an artist and enjoying myself. took off more seriously as I got older, like sixth form and then uni, and I haven't really stopped since then, so, yeah. How do you say about the Oh, so I go to um, a studio, um, I go to Bolo studio sometimes to record my song, um, one of the engineers there, like, knows me very well, and he put me on this event to perform, um, obviously, when you saw my talent and thought I'd be really good to, to showcase my talent live in front of a crowd, so, yeah, I took the opportunity, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it would help. In a, it would just help spread awareness of like the opportunities that we can do, like, the potential that we have. Um, I think it's a great platform to showcase not just music, but obviously art. Um, I think art is a beautiful thing. Um, it needs to be put out there a lot more. So we could be one of the very few boroughs that really showcase the talent that we have and the art. <laughs> Yeah, hi, my name is Justine Simons. I'm the Deputy Mayor for Culture and the Creative Industries here in London. So it's great to be here in Ealing today uh, at the launch of Ealing's fantastic Manifesto for Culture. And what is brilliant is to see the vision and the ambition in Ealing. It's got a great cultural and creative heritage and uh, many diverse communities and creatives here today. And the Manifesto really brings all of that energy to life with a big positive vision for growing the creative story of Ealing in the future. It's a super exciting day. How important is culture to London? Culture is super important to London. It's really our DNA. It's who we are as a city. But also it generates lots of jobs and boosts the economy. There's one in every six jobs here in London is a creative one. And it's generating nearly 60 billion for the London economy. But culture in London is about more than those things that you can count on a spreadsheet. Culture is bringing us together as communities, it's helping with our health and our fitness, it's giving young people purpose, it's building our civic pride. So culture is a kind of golden thread throughout all of our cities, so it couldn't be more important. Great. My name is Tanya Nelson, I'm London Area Director at Arts Council England. What sort of cultural change are you looking to develop within Ealing through your work with Arts Council England? Well, we want to make sure that actually all parts of the borough have access to really great art and culture and that everybody has a chance to express themselves. So, I mean, that really is thinking about how we engage with young people. Um, so that's a really important part of what we want to do, which is we want to engage with young people so that they're able to develop their skills um, and think about career pathways into the arts. So one of the things that we know about London is that while it is kind of the creative capital, most people who are working in a creative job come from backgrounds where their families are either in management or professional careers. Whereas in outside of London, actually young people are going into creative arts who come from all different types of backgrounds. But London seems to be a place in which you're limited by your family background. And so we want to kind of help 
in, you know, enrich um, the opportunities for young people um, in Ealing to be able to go into creative careers. Amazing. How is this manifesto going to change cultural life in Ealing specifically? Well, first of all, I think it's going to change cultural life because it has a mission around engaging communities in the actual delivery of arts and culture. So it's not a top-down manifesto that says, this is what's good for you. This is what we're going to provide to you. There's a platform in it that kind of says it's the community deciding what it is that they want to deliver in terms of arts and culture and what is unique to them. And given the fact that it's such a diverse borough, I mean, I can just really imagine the great different types of events, festivals, you know, art forms that are going to come through that. Um, so it's really exciting because of the process, actually. It's about engaging with people and empowering them to decide what they want to see in their community.